We've got big news, people. What's the big news? <laughs> what is up, Ibble fam? Welcome to the Ibble Bitch Show. My name is Sherry. And my name is Kelsey. And we know there's a lot of news, but little time, so we cover the top trending stories each day in under five minutes. So let's get to it. California has always been known for its forest fires. However, a fiery tornado threw everyone for a loop on Saturday as a swarm of spinning flames spread throughout Lassen country. That's right. Genuine twisters made of smoke and flame 30,000 feet high spun across more than 20,000 acres, resulting in a serious heat wave reaching Cali's highest August temperature on record of 123 degrees. This was the first time the National Weather Service in Reno issued a fire tornado warning, the first weather alert of its kind. Luckily, nobody was injured. Dude, what is going on with 2020? Like, fire tornadoes? Hell ants, murder hornets, COVID. Have we all heard about the controversy around mail-in voting yet? It's been a point of contention since the Civil War. But how real is the threat of voter fraud? Very small, like really small. In the last 20 years and 250 mail-in votes, only 143 have been convicted of fraud. In 2016, 33 million votes were sent in by mail, and some are saying that a majority will be sent in by mail this year. We are left to wonder if the infrastructure is in place to mail and count all of the votes. Why are we dealing with mail? I don't know. <laughs> like, you made a good point. Like, why isn't this online yet? Like, this needs to be online, people. I mean, Civil War, that was a long time ago. That's been a minute. It's 2020. Yeah. It's 2020, we have the We're technology. The we all can agree that nature needs to be protected, right? Not so much. The Trump administration finalized a deal to open up part of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge in Alaska for potential oil and gas drilling. Under the law, the agency must conduct at least two lease sales of 400,000 acres each by the end of 2024. The land is believed to hold billions of barrels of oil, but is also one of the largest remaining stretches of wilderness in the U.S. The battle over the land has been going on since 1980, and although the plans have started, it is actually unclear on if or when oil companies will lease the land. The legal battles could last for years to come. Like, do you support the oil industry? I, my brother's in the oil industry. Yeah. I don't necessarily support it. I support my brother. Yes. <laughs> However, I do not agree with like messing up untouched wilderness. Yeah. I do not agree with that at all. However, I will take into consideration that Alaska is a very large place. This is true. But you know, renewable energy is the future. So hopefully we're going to start looking at that as an option too. So. so Facebook Messenger and Instagram are getting married. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if you're an Insta person, you will notice right away the ability to upgrade the Insta message stating there's a new way to message on Instagram. Users now have the ability to respond to Facebook Messenger via Insta DM, along with more colorful chats, emoji reactions, swipe to reply option, and the ability to reply via Facebook own WhatsApp. We gotta go to this wedding. We gotta go. To we gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta it's go. gonna be open bar. Woo! The Trump administration approved a private security company to detain migrant children and families in major hotel chains who have been taken into custody at the U.S. border. Under the unregulated new policy, children are sent home to their countries rather than being regulated in the federal detention system, making it nearly impossible for their parents to track their children. What do you think about this, Kelsey? I think it's the first step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Although unregulated is not cool. Yes. Also, these detention centers are not cool. So hopefully it'll just steer us in the right direction yeah. and come together the more people get involved. I personally feel inspired to get involved. So apparently there's a debate going on in the emoji world. What? Weird. Yeah, I know this was a thing, but are emoji reactions actually a good thing? Some feel emojis are an efficient way to show acknowledgement when busy. Some feel it is rude and lazy, and some just say it depends. Are emojis taking away true virtual connection? What do you guys think? You know, I guess in the grand scheme of things, uh, digital interactions is taking away from true connection. Mm -hmm. However, I think that emojis are not a bad thing. I know. Like, like, why take away emojis? Why are we arguing about this? Like, there's so many other things exactly. going on in the world that we're arguing about emoji uses. I love emojis, so if you don't like them, don't message They're me. They're fun. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with us. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. <laughs>